Okay, so there's been a few people asking me um, what programs I use to record and render my videos. And instead of um, instead of me typing out the same thing to everyone, I'm gonna uh, I've just thought I'll make a quick little video on the programs I use and what settings I use to re to render my videos. So the first thing I use is Fraps to um to record games and my desktop, which I'm actually doing at the moment. If you want to record your desktop like I am now, then on the general general tab thing, make sure this one is checked. And then you'll see the um, little overlay thing pop up in this corner. Um, if you go into movies, this is where the main thing is where you uh, set up all your recording, like yeah, where you want the um, sound, mine stereo, the Windows 7 sound, and then the external one is the microphone that I'm using. I use 30 frames per second, and this is on half size because um, if you want to do a quick upload, like you want it to be pretty fast with a small file size, I always use half size, and I can still get it looking um HD because of the the um rendering settings that I use, which I'll show you in a minute. But if you've got um really fast internet, and you've got a lot of time on your hands, then you can just play in uh well record in full size, but the um file size is a lot bigger because Fraps some reason if I go into the fraps folder it logs record and pull it in massive file sizes like for example there you go this one that's a six no hang on that's the wrong one <laughs> where are you where's the six minute one? Oh, there it is there's a six minute video right there um six and a half minutes and that's 3.9 gig 3.90 gig and that's just a ridiculous file size so but once you uh, render it it'll, uh, it'll shrink it down quite a bit and it'll be a less file size, like a lower file size if you're recording half size. So um once I've recorded I open up this which is Sony Vegas Pro 10 and then I drag um drag my clip in here so I'll uh have I got any small ones. One second. <laughs> no. I'll do that on the um Yeah, that one. There we go. So you drag it in there and you edit it. Like you split it in half or whatever you want to do. I'll um, just split it like that. And then once you drag your clip in here and cut it, um, you have to right click on the actual clip properties and then make sure this is on um, display resample. No, disable resample. Um, that pretty much means it doesn't blur if you pause it like it won't s stick on a previous flame blurring with um, a frame that it's going to if that makes any sense so if you pause it it will stay on a solid frame like this is now and you want to also make sure that this here maintain aspect ratio is, is unticked because you see these black lines here you don't want them in YouTube so if you just tick that and then OK it will get rid of them so um that's how you do that. Now, the the effects I use, I don't really use that many. Most of the time, I just use the click on the brightness and contrast one, which is there, and I've made my own, which is MC BNC, which just means Minecraft brightness and contrast. And then I drag that into each clip. And here are the settings. It wouldn't actually look this um kind of foggy in YouTube because YouTube dulls it down a bit. That's why I have it that foggy, so it dulls it down, so it looks normal. So they, these are the settings I use for that brightness and contrast, which I've the custom-made one. So if you want to, uh, if you want to copy that, pause the video and take a look at it now. The other thing I use for if it's a really dark area, but I don't think I've got any. Disable that for a sec. But I don't think I've got any dark areas in this little clip. I suppose that's dark enough. I use the um, bump map, which is just under the um, brightness and contrast one, and that's for the flashlight that I use. And there's two, two of them that I use. There's this one, which is the um, the kind of ar arched one, which is like a headlamp type thing. And these are the settings for that. If you want to pause and get them, and then the other one is the um, just the round one which I prefer to use just because it looks uh, a little bit 
more neater. It looks really bright at the moment, but that's just because the, uh, it's not dark enough where I am in the actual cave that I'm in. That's sandstone. <laughs> I've really got a thing for sandstone now. I don't know why, I just really like it. But anyway, yeah, there's the settings for that if you want to uh, take a look at them. And then once I've done all of my editing, added all my clips, and it's all looking, uh, it's all looking good, I click this little button here, Project Video Properties, and then on the template, I go down to HDV 720 to 30p, which is a uh, HD at 30 frames per second and then make sure it's all this. You might not be able to see if you're in the normal screen, so if you go into full screen it'll go into a, it'll go into HD and then you'll be able to see all this. <coughs> Field order non-progressive scan uh, width 1280 by 720 which is HD. Pixel aspect ratio, look, pixel aspect ratio is 1, output ratio is 0 degrees which means it isn't tilted or anything. Frame rate obviously pretty much 30 frames. Um, pixel format 8-bit Full resolution quality best. Motion blur type, I don't even know what that word says. <laughs> Deteriorance method, um, interlo uh, interpolate fields, whatever that word says. And then you just click apply. And then I click on this button here, which is render as, or if you haven't got that, depending on what version of Sony Vegas you got, or whatever editing software you have, you should find one that says render. And then uh, I've got a lot of tests. All these ones, the, the ones that just got random numbers and stuff, is just me testing out different things. But I'll call it whatever I want to call it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then um, I use WMV. There was a time, well, the, the past few videos, I had to use uh, main concept AVC because my old, when I used to record in full size in Fraps. I use this one that I'm using now, the um, HD small, and because I use three million bits per second, it was a uh, once it rendered, it made it a bit choppy in the sun. Like if you watch that, if you watch the video where I was building the cobblestone base for the 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 like a uh, station thing before I pull it on the ground, it's kind of choppy, and that was the reason because I recorded in full size and only used three million bits per second, so it's a bit choppy. But, but because I'm recording half size now. I can just go down to uh, Windows Media Video version 11 and then I made this custom one. Uh, you don't need to worry about the sound. Just go into the video and then copy this down if you want to use them. And then the bit rate I put to 3 million bits per second. Project uh, best, blah blah blah. Now if you've got a fast internet and you've got quite a bit of time on your hands, you don't need to use that one. You can make another one which is this one sounds no need to worry about that again um, all this is the same but then the bitrate is 8 which will make it um, a lot more clearer so it will look like the actual game when you're playing it on YouTube with the one that I use now it, it kind of looks like it but just a tiny bit um, I can't explain it's just not as, not as um, perfect as it does but it's still pretty decent quality I think this one. If you want to see what this one looks like, this rendering setting, I'll uh, leave a link in the description to um, a rendering test that I did. That's now unlisted, but I'll leave a link for it. So that's how you do that, and then you just click save like that, and then this will come up and it'll tell you how long it's going to take. But I'm not going to. So that's it. If you've got any more questions about um, how I do things and where I get all my music from. This is all my music that I've been editing with at the moment. If you want to know where to get that from, let me know. And I'll send you the link. If you type in um, DB Soundworks into Google, you'll find it there. It's just It's got a lot of them. Most of them are free. Most of them are, are like $1 each. I think that's how much they are. I don't know. They're pretty cheap. But um, yeah, if you've got any more questions about it, then let me know. I'll uh, be glad to answer any forget. A load of questions about a certain thing I'll make another video on that certain thing but I hope this video has helped if it has um, thumbs up and let me know what you think of my settings the link for oh ah that's it I wanted to say I've got a Facebook page as well now I reminded myself when I said link 
Yeah, I've got this um, Facebook page now because I know YouTube has been having an issue with um, sub boxes. Like certain videos don't show up in certain people's sub boxes. So if that if you're having an issue with that, um, I'll leave the link for this new my new Facebook page in the description, and then um, I'll always post it on there or my Twitter, which will also be in the description. And then you can um, you'll always be up to date of my videos and other things I'm doing. Like I might put server IP addresses that I'm on, and you can join. But yep, uh, that's it for now. I hope this has helped you all that have been interested in what I use and my settings. So I'll see you tomorrow when I upload Minecraft. Other than that, thanks for watching. Goodbye.